Okay, this one is done. You people are able to see my screen, right? Yes, sir. Okay, let me connect this one. So here, pay attention here. We have something called in the very log line. Uh, excuse me, sir. Are you presenting the screen? Yes. Others are see, uh, seeing my screen, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So pay attention here. Uh, we have something called module. This color I had to change. One minute. Okay. So we have something called module. Module is a keyword. And there is something called end module and module. So remember, any Verilog code will go within this module and end module. You will start anything with a module and write something here. And while you complete your code, then you have to close with this end module. There is no space like uh, end module together one single word it is there is uh, you don't you put here end space module like that so if you're writing like that compiler will give error this is not correct end module is the only way so here uh, let's say we wanted to write a uh, half adder so in half adder we have something a something called B, something called some, something called CO. That is, two inputs are there. Here, these are inputs. And these are our outputs. This one we already studied in uh, digital electronics. So in binary, if two inputs are there, means two power two, total four possible cases will rise. Those are like zero, 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 one, one zero one one and here if you add this to zero plus zero so you will have some zero carry out will be zero if you add this zero one your sum will be one carry out will be zero if you add one zero your sum one sum will be one your carry out will be zero if you add one plus one then your sum will be zero then carry out is one so this is in in decimal number system one plus one means it is two. One plus one, if you do that is two. So 
this two how do we represent in binary one zero so this two in decimal this one zero is in binary so this part we are calling it as a sum and this part we are calling it as a c i think in understanding this table and this concept no one having any doubt if anyone having any doubt you please ask okay so it means from this we ha we can say that our sum having this expression a x or b and our carry out having this expression that is a dot b so now what is that we wanted to do is we wanted to present this one in the very long hdl so to present in the very long hdl here so there are several ways here there are several ways the purpose of very long hdl is what you have one language very long hdl hardware description language why is that it is used the reason for using this very long hdl is to obtain to obtain logic logic we mean digital logic digital logic technically we call it as a net list net list so this very log is used to obtain the net list without this very log what was the approach earlier approach is let's say i wanted to design an uh, up counter what is that i wanted to design one up counter let us say now the question is size is required of that counter so we have noted that it is a three bit if three bit we listed like this here we have q c q b q a so we listed that present state is zero 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 one next count is going to zero zero one next count is going to zero one zero next count is going to zero one one and then and then count is going to one zero zero then count is going to one zero one then one one zero then one 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 so this is this part is called current state this part is called current state and here when current state is your zero 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 counter should go to a another state that is called the next state next state and this next state for difference purpose we represented like this we have represented like this here we said that if current state is 0 0 0 then we supposed to have 0 0 1 like that we listed if current state is this then our current uh, next state must be this one if current state is 2 then it's supposed to go, be going to the 3 if current state itself is 3 then it's supposed to be going to the next state that is 4. If current state is 4, then it must be going to the next state, that is 1, 0, 1. If current state is 5, then it must be going to the next state, 6. If current state is 6, then it must be going to the next state, 7. If current state is 7, then it must be coming back to the initial. So this is the step 1 that we have to do on the paper. Second step, what we have to do is step 2. We have to obtain the K map for each of these states, Q, A, Q, B, Q, C, uh, like that. So for Q, A plus, what is the K map? Like that. So here, this is these are the flip-flops. So we, we call something called excitation table. Excitation table. Which flip-flop you wanted to use? Which flip flop? Let's say you can design this counter using your D flip flop, 
your uh, JK flip flop, your T flip flop, like that. So if you are using D flip flop, or if you are using JK, if you are using T, you have your present state and you have your next state, the Q and Q plus state. If zero zero, if this is zero one, if it is one zero, if it is one one, in that case, in that case what must be the flip-flop input is like you know, for example if you take the t so when zero zero no change here it is zero when zero one toggling is happening so t must be one if it is one zero t must be one again toggle is happened here so here one one no change here so like that excitation table knowledge and then k maps those are required here and then we go for with the with the help of the, all this we obtain something called boolean expression boolean expression after obtaining this boolean expression then we will know what uh, you know logic elements will be required like in case uh, just now we said uh, that was a very small example that like uh, sum equal to a x or b and carry out equal to a b like that we said now so like that we are going to talk about this one here what is the t a uh, this is uh, this flip flop we have named here like uh, a b c so what is this uh, here uh, for a lo logic for uh, this uh, t a some some boolean expression what is uh, the boolean expression for a t b some boolean expression similarly for t c what is like that some three uh, like three boolean expressions now what we do here is based on these boolean expressions we put here our t flip flop three t flip flops and their input here let's say you are calling it as a ta and this is your tb your tc you have obtained some boolean expression here so based on that boolean expression that uh, whatever the logic is there here logic that will come here that logic will go as an input to this T. Same way here to, for TB also you have obtained some logic here. So that logic will come here and it will go to the TB. Same thing here for TC also you have obtained some Boolean logic. So that logic will be here and that will go as an input to this one. So that's how the whole entire process is. But what if, if you wanted to do a 32-bit counter? Imagine how difficult it is. So there were these people thought something is required which automates our design process. So people thought we have to automate. What we have to automate? What we have to automate? Design process. Are you people there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what we have to automate is the entire design process. This design process is what I discussed here. So like we we select, like we write it on paper here. This is our current state. This is our next state. And we are write all possible cases like this. And then we go for this excitation tables. And then from there, we uh, get this uh, K-map. And then we open the Boolean expression. Everything, uh, it was manual earlier. So uh, the way I said, if 32-bit counter, it may take uh, months also to, you know, work on this. So that's why people thought it is not possible uh, complex designs with the human intervention. We need to automate those uh, complete design process. So there were people in, uh, you know, uh, come up with a language called HDL, Hardware Description Language. Whereas C, C++, those languages were existing, but why is that the need of the uh, uh, another language? So the answer is, these languages are sequential. These languages are in nature, they are sequential. So, but if you see the hardware, digital, especially uh, your uh, digital hardware, th this digital hardware is not in a sequential order. 
so there there may be several components here one component here may one component all of these components may be working parallelly together here so parallel behavior we wanted to model we wanted to model means we wanted to describe in the language but these languages will not support parallel parallel modeling so at that time the the need arises to come up with another language called hardware description language so there are many hardware description languages but ieee standard languages are two one is vhdl vhdl the other is verilog hdl ieee standard languages are industry standard languages are this so now we, uh, okay language is there that's fine so but how to like you are uh, writing some code so what you are doing you are writing some code so this code directly can we apply to a software called synthesizer synthesizer so that we can obtain logic uh, from that that is netlist technically uh, calling logic this logic i am talking about just now what i have discussed this this entire logic this entire logic that is the whole idea that is the whole idea of this language this is a complete lo a logic we have to obtain this we obtain manually but we don't want that manual uh, um, uh, you know approach we want to automate that one so you thought uh, i know the language so you you have learned the language and you have developed the code and you have applied that code to a synthesizer this logic obtained logic is still at virtual level this obtained logic is still at a virtual level virtual level means it is there in your computer in your laptop in your desktop so what is required is this to be fabricated we have to fabricate this one so fabrication is done by sending some thing to the foundry foundry is the uh, place where this fabrication happens so it means what just obtaining the uh, logic alone is not sufficient there is something that we have to do a long way to go so that is th this long way is called physical design this it's called physical design. So this, this journey is called front-end design. Front-end design. But fr from front-end design, to you have to move to the physical design. So this physical design, again, has got several steps. Those st steps we will discuss later on. But at this stage, what we have to understand is, is this logic correct directly if you do the synthesis, if you perform this process, that is the synthesis process? Is this a good approach? Synthesis process, if you do, means answer is no, that is not a good approach. So then what is good approach is? Good approach is this. First, you write the code. First, you write the code. Ensure that this code is correct through simulation. Through simulation. This simulation will give you the results. It will give you the results. Analyze these results. Are they, are they expected results? Expected. Answer is yes. Results are expected then go for the physical design that i am writing it as a pd answer is no expected means answer is no then go and change your code check what is wrong in that so there were the crucial role this uh, simulation is playing so we have to understand how the simulation is done that is important first then going for this uh, process that other process that is uh, there are two i wrote directly pd here if it is yes then then comes here the front end design actually that is synthesis process after uh, front end design then you go to the PD, physical design so here uh, verilog language 
suppose there are different modeling styles we call it as a modeling styles modeling styles are there those modeling styles are one is switch level modeling kindly go through that uh, on the github i already provided and then we have the other is gate level modeling this modeling means uh, describe how you describe how you describe modeling styles means dis describing styles so one is switch level here you use keywords such as pmos nmos so cmos these keywords are there so keywords you use and you build a circuit here keywords are there you have a keyword called and, nand, like that. And uh, next is uh, data flow level modeling. Data flow. In this data flow, you have to have the knowledge of operators. Operators. Like you wanted to perform and operation. So the equivalent operator is like this. You wanted to perform nand operation. So uh, you, the equivalent operator is you use this uh, negation operator inside the parenthesis. You put here the uh, oper your operands and then you perform this AND operation. Directly, there is no operator like uh, to perform like this. This is there, but this is something called reduction operator. We will study later on that is reduction operator. But you want... NAND operation to be performance like that. So the, those operators knowledge is required in data flow case. And then we have higher abstraction. These are the abstraction level. This is the lowest abstraction level. And here if you proceed higher abstraction level. So you have behavioral level modeling. So in this behavioral level modeling, you use this if Loops you use, case you use, case statement, if statement, case statement, for loop, uh, repeat loop, all such things you will use here. So the usage of this is not permitted in data flow or gate level or switch level. So a behavioral level you can use. So these are different uh, levels of abstraction that Verilog uh, provides us. But from... Just now I told you people that, why is that HDL has come into the picture, why? Because manual approach is not possible. This approach is very time consuming and error prone. Because the way I said for three bit, you know, this much of work that we have to do, even this three bit also error prone if some very few do some mistake. We cannot imagine in that case 32 bit how uh, uh, laborious job it is. So for that, here we people uh, invented HDL to automate the design process. When we have in, uh, uh, come up with this uh, design process automation, then in that case, if if you still uh, uh, require to know, uh, like uh, in this case, switch level, you require to know, you know how the circuit is, so that you can use these keywords and connect then you require to know how what logic is required to build my uh, my 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 circuit that is logic means what uh, how many and gates require how many r gates require then there is no point of doing the automation here at these two stages there is no point of doing the automation are you, am i making sense are you understanding Are, yes, you people, are you people connected? Yes, sir. Is, is this making sense what I said? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the if you if you if you were to know the circuit itself, suppose say I am asking you to come up with uh, some circuit, let's say uh, some circuit, let's say max four by one. I am asking you to come up with this one. So, with the, with the help of 
language i am asking you what what logic is required to build this this idea mux mux idea mux 4 by or uh, 4 is to 1 idea this 4 by 1 inside what circuit is required that you come up with hdl i am asking you one side the other side i am telling you that use gates <laughs> use gates use gates there is no point here because then hgl how what is the role it is playing the uh, just according to the uh, discussion that carried just now here to build this circuit here what logic is required manually we have to do all this thing to avoid this and to automate here this hdl has come into, into the picture but the other side, I am saying that you come up with uh, this uh, 4 is to 1, uh, use this language. and uh, But the other side, I am asking, use the gates. So if I were to know the gates, then why is that HDL is required for me, hardware description language? So that's the question that I am asking you to think. So uh, the answer here is, we have, we, 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 we are, we are not going to use this one as we grow further, further, further in our understanding, in our development of the algorithms. When you are studying some algorithm, so this algorithm may be multiplication algorithm, maybe division algorithm, maybe some cryptography algorithm, maybe whatever that algorithm may be. We don't know what hardware is really required there. So what we do is we write at this stage behavioral level modeling we will use. This level we will use. Since it is a starting journey for you people, you don't know what behavioral level is. So don't go panic at this stage. But what is that I am trying to uh, discuss today is Language also facilitates at this lower abstraction level. The, the ability of this language is, it also facilitates us at lower abstraction level keywords also. So for learning purpose, a beginner, a learner, what he or she can do is, they can use this keywords and they can come up with a circuit and they can start using the HDL is the idea here. Not that, not that in future they will develop some algorithm using those gates. If you were to use those gates to develop any uh, algorithm, one minute, somebody at the door, I have to attend them, just a minute. Okay, so I am audible, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir, you are audible. So, uh, just the summary is why we are studying this. It is to get acquaintance with the usage of the language itself and to get acquaintance with the procedure like, uh, you know, the syntax of the language and to use this EDA tools. That's the whole idea. And some of the circuits, very, very, very minimal circuits, them we can code using this, uh, you know, available uh, uh, keywords. So let us see uh, one uh, design example using this. So if you are using, uh, let's say, uh, the same example, we will take that half adder. You have two inputs A and B and you have two outputs sum and zero. So here as I said anything will be starting with module. Any code will be starting with the keyword module and then space module name HA. This is user defined name. This HA is a user defined name and open the parenthesis. Inside the parenthesis, you can list here ports, port list area. This is called port list area. So here, these are called primary 
inputs pi and these are called primary outputs so only primary inputs and primary outputs are listed here so let's say a b and uh, s comma c o so there may be intermediate signals also for example if i am asking you to come up uh, full adder using two half adders one half adder you are using here which is taking two inputs here a and b this is giving two output sum one carry one and the other half adder is using this sum one and using this carry in and it is generating a actual sum and it is generating c2 and you are using one or gate which is generating actual carry out but it is taking two inputs c1 c2 and it also has got several like input outputs if you see here these a b c in are inputs some co are the outputs and here s1 is also a one output for this one but for this it is input so we cannot list them every intermediate signal these are called intermediate signals these are intermediate signal s1 c1 c2 these are intermediate signals here we cannot list them intermediate signals we only have to list what are primary main inputs primary main main inputs primary outputs main outputs only them we have to list and then we have to declare a type declaration here type declaration means we listed now ports here these variables a b a b are of which type are they of input type or output type so that is input input is a keyword the way module is a keyword the way module is a keyword input is also a keyword input all by the way all keywords are lowercase so a comma b and then semicolon and then you write output and then yes comma co so separating variables with a comma putting a semicolon or the part of the syntax now you write logic here your logic goes here so i told we will uh, you know the gate level uh, uh, dis description the gate level modeling is for beginners practice so how do we use that gate xor this is the keyword that is available xor is a keyword all lowercase again the syntax is open the parenthesis put first output variable so just now we said that this sum has got a xor with a b here the output variable is sum so first output variable will come yes followed by that input variables and then semicolon and we discuss carry out is a dot b so it means what and gate is required so we have the keyword a and d first output variable so in our case output variable is co in followed by that a comma b you have to separate all this with the comma all variables so we have done with our logic description here so now this module needs to be closed with the end module. So this end module is a single word it is. So if you write spaces, end space module, two separate words if you write, then compiler will give error. So this is one task. Writing like this is, writing like this is one task. Then we have to test this. So to test this, what is required is something called test bench. So now whatever the code that you have uh, written here, this code needs to be verified, verified for, for functionality. For functionality. So to uh, verify its functionality, you have to give some different inputs. Then see that these outputs are these outputs are according to the expectation. So generation of these inputs applying to the this design that is called DUD, design under test, design under test. And verifying, seeing this output, so three activities. One, apply, generating the inputs. Second, applying it to the DUD. 
third is observing the output. These three activities are done in some other file called test bench file. Test bench file. So what you do in test bench file, you generate the inputs. That is st stimuli or stim stimuli. This is DUT. Is there any way design under a test? Design under test. You call, you just call because you calling means insta instantiating. That is uh, call. Instead of calling, you say instantiate. Instantiate. You don't use calling here. You say instantiate. What you instantiate? DUT you instantiate. Which DUT? This is the DUT. The name of this with the name you instantiate. This this is the name HA. With that name you instantiate. And then what you do? You observe the output. For observing the for observing this uh, output, we have some uh, approach. Some some ways are there to generate the input. Some ways are there. Those ways are here in test bench. They are done. So this test bench file, this is a test bench file. We call it as a test bench. So this is also a very log file only. So since it is a very log file, we start with a module only again. And it will have the module name, the way uh, design file has got. This file is called the design file. This file from now on, it is called design file. This is your design file. And this file is uh, your test bench file where you are writing those like generation and observation, all that is called test bench file. So it has got the name TB I am giving. Any name you can give it is user defined. TB is a test bench, so like that. Now, whatever the inputs that you are going to generate over a period of time, like you, your ABC, your ABC has got, you know, like you have ABC over a period of time, you have your inputs here in your case, AB only. So you have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So you gave this one at zero simulation time. At five, five time unit, you wanted to give this inputs. At 10 time unit, you wanted to give this input. It uh, let's say 15 time unit you wanted to give this time uh, this inputs. So it means what this AB variable must be of, of ability to hold them, these different values, store them, hold means store them. So that property comes with a with a reg data type. Reg is a one data type. Reg, reg is a one data type. So we write here reg reg and a, B. So whatever the variables that are there here with a keyword input, all those will be defined with a reg keyword because of all inputs we have to <laughs> generate. In this example, only A, B are there. But in some other examples, there may be thousands of inputs. Those thousands of inputs in test bench, they will be they will be redeclared with a with a with a data type. Reg, R E G, Reg. And this output will be instantly, instantly updated. When 0, 0 comes, for that time period, what is your sum and what is your zero? Those, those will be updated. They are, they, they are like, you know, you don't need to preserve them. It is kind of like, you know, wire, electric wire. Whatever the current comes, it takes and shows that. So the, there is a data type called wire. Wire is a one data type. So our output variables don't require to st uh, store hold anything. So the, the, those are declared with a data type called wire. So remember, reg is one data type, wire is the one data type. All, input key, all inputs that are with the keyword input, they will become reg data type in test bench file. In test bench file, all variables that are there with a uh, keyword output, they will become uh, wire in test bench. So that is the first thing that we have to understand. Second thing is instantiate that module. 
I told with the name you will be instantiating. So the name of our design, uh, des uh, design is HA. This is the module name that we have kept. If you have kept some other name here, if you have kept some other name here, then with that name we, we, we have to call here. With that name we have to call here. And calling is required some name. That instantiation requires some name. I am using here the name as a INS1, instance one. Open the parenthesis. The way they are in order variables, keep them like that. There is other way also. We will study that other way in subsequent uh, sessions. So this is the second thing that you have to, second thing is you have to instantiate that one. Instantiate. Third thing is start applying the inputs and observing them and observing them. So that is done here like this. So that is initial is a keyword. Initial is a keyword. Initial. And then you will be writing begin. If multiple statements are there, begin is required. You will write here a dollar monitor. Dollar monitor is a system task which will be displaying inside dollar monitor whatever the variables that you keep. I am going to keep, let's say, uh, my uh, uh, this A, B and uh, you know, uh, my sum and my CO. Any variable is changing means this this particular, uh, you know, statement will be displaying in the console window. In the console window that those changes are taking place like that. It will display any, any one thing. And then what you do, you generate the uh, variables, uh, those input variables. So after, let, let's say I'm giving some delay. So that delay is one nanosecond. So this one time unit, I'm, I shouldn't be calling one nanosecond. It is one time unit. So the time unit will become nanosecond or millisecond or femtosecond or any other that I will tell later on. So then I start applying here A equal to zero, B equal to zero. Then after again, one nanosecond or five nanoseconds any time, my A is still 0, but B is 1. So since A is still 0, you really don't need to write this way here because still A value will be 0 only, no, no change is happening. So if you write, no problem. Then again, after 1 nanosecond, my A is becoming 1, my B is becoming 0. Again, after 1 nanosecond, my uh, A is becoming 1, my B is becoming 1. Here again, see if you notice this one, no changes. So really not required to write here. But if you write, no problem. As a beginner, if you write, no problem. So what you have done here, this statement is for observing and these statements are for applying the inputs. So that is what I said here, 3 and 4. You apply the input and observe them. So in a, that you have done here. So this begin, this begin, we, we, we uh, you know, and so uh, that is uh, done. So what we have done here is again, I repeat module TB semicolon. Module is a keyword space. TB is a user defined name. Semicolon is a part of the syntax. Reg is a data type. This is the keyword, but it is called data type one data type why it is used here this a b are going to take different values over a period of time so they must hold the uh, like they must be you know memory uh, in memory they are keeping so that property is there with this data type with the rich data type but why it is not like that it's not required to hold whenever these values been applied this should be reflected on sum and CO. So for that, uh, preservation of sum and CO are not required. So wire data type we are using. And second is call that module that you wanted to test. So that we technically call, uh, call it as an instantiate. And with its name, module name. So, and then you use here uh, this instantiation name. Are you people connected? Yes, sir. 
So now you put in yes, order, order here, all this, and then you go here. This in, initial is one keyword. This is a keyword. This is called procedural construct. Procedural construct. Inside this procedural construct, we can use all of these things. Outside this, we cannot use them. That's why this is required. Procedural construct is required. So this is a keyword, lowercase. If this procedural construct is to have only one statement, then begin and end is not required. But we have multiple statements. This dollar monitor one statement, all these uh, you know delays are statements, and these value supplying are statements. So like that, several statements are there. So begin and end is required. So we have done with our uh, you know uh, this uh, test bench writing. So that module needs to be wrapped with the end module. So like that. So now uh, about this delay, we have to tell the compiler that use this uh, delay like this. Use this delay with a backcode time scale 1ns slash 1ps. This is the time unit. Your time unit means that scale will be in nanoseconds now. This is the precision, time precision. This is the time precision. So time precision means here instead of one nanoseconds, if you have used here one point, let's say this, this is uh, you have used hash 1.9367, like that delay you have used. In that case, that is the precision. How the what it will tell is this precision will tell how many uh, digits to be retained after that decimal point. Like this one picosecond is equal to, all the time remember one thing, time unit is greater than time precision. So one picosecond is equal to 0 0.001 nanosecond. So on a scale of nanoseconds, you have, you have got this precision. So it means what after this decimal point, three digits is the precision. So it means what that whatever the value that you have taken here, 1.937, in simulator it will be rounded uh, to like 1.93, this seven. This is you know rounding here. This one is rounded when it is greater than five. So this is 1.9373. Three. Well, it is uh, it it is going to retain after this decimal point only three digits that's how the precision is so now this idea what we have to do is we have to simulate this one to uh, uh, you know so just uh, what is this Okay, so everybody, what you do along with me, you just open this uh, in your system, one folder, give name here, everybody do it with me. So, uh, folder, this is a half adder, HA. Create a folder, HA. Open that folder. In that, create a two files, the way I'm doing here. If I'm going fast, ask me, I will stop. HA dot V, it should be dot V. HA dot V. Remove that TXT. If, if someone, if extension TXT is not seen, tell me, I will, I will help them. Then what you have to do is, again, one more text. Uh, create their uh, tb dot v test bench that is then what you have to do is these two files you have to open so open in your notepad edit in notepad or another notepad is there means another notepad you take anything so edit in notepad if you take like this it will come so there you uh, write this the way I'm writing here, module H A 
ओपन द पैरेंट तो सेस यार ए कामा बी कामा सम कामा सी ओ एंड टर्मिनेट विथ समी कॉलन सर आई एम ओपनिंग इट इन डॉट टीएक्सटी फाइल हाउ टू आई चेंज इट डू यू सी द एक्सटेंशन डॉट टीएक्सटी यस सर आई डू उट uh go to this uh, options here see where i am going here go to yes, options sir. options go to view uh yes sir uh here uh somewhere show hidden files uh, uh extension hide extensions for known file types that uncheck yes sir yes sir and then click okay then you should see dot txt yes sir yes sir i'm seeing ha huh, now you can change okay okay so now module ha the way i am writing please write here input a comma b semicolon output sum comma co and then here xor gate you have to use xor open the parenthesis there sum comma a comma b close the parenthesis semicolon use the another gate a and d open the parenthesis there you see o carry out a comma b close the parenthesis semicolon then this end module so after doing that you just control s yes. control yes sir okay if if someone not following you please tell if i am going fast also you please tell following yes sir everybody yes sir now come to the tv file test bench file there backport see the backport on my screen don't do any mistake backport is just the extreme left above the tab tab key backport time scale 1ns/1ps press enter then module then tb then semicolon then reg a comma b semicolon then wire space sum comma co then the name of that this module that module name is ha so that is ha space ins1 instance1 open the parenthesis put the way they are in the order first a then b then sum then co and then semicolon and then after that enter new line go to this type here initial space begin press enter they write down here dollar monitor dollar monitor open the parenthesis uh, inside put a double quotes inside those double quotes the way i am typing you see here at the rate time space at the rate time is to display in the console it is uh, no keyword no nothing it is at the rate time is just for our visual purpose percentage g this is the format specifier for time it is going to display the time so for that this is format specifier percentage g 
and then we are keeping ns ns is again for our purpose nanoseconds in nanoseconds it is going to display and then the a value a value a equal to percentage b a is for our purpose only everything is our purpose percentage b is only the important thing percentage b is a format specifier b equal to percentage b sum equal to percentage b C O equal to percentage B comma and then you have to put a dollar time here this is important dollar time is a system function it will return the simulation time you are proceeding in simulation I told na, earlier I had shown you na, in that time how we are proceeding like 0 0 then for 0 1 for 1 0 that time it will be displaying then A comma B comma sum comma C O Close the parenthesis semicolon. Then you come to the next line, hash one semicolon, and then give your A equal to zero semicolon, B equal to zero semicolon. Then hash one again. Enter the new line, A equal to still zero, A is zero, B equal to one. And then again, hash 1, A equal to 1, B equal to 0. Then hash 1, semicolon, A equal to 1, semicolon, B equal to 1, semicolon. Are you following? Yeah, am I going first? Sir, uh, while saving the file, actually, uh, my... Uh... If I'm doing dot v, so it's saying that uh, an unformatted file uh, you cannot uh, An, errors may occur in it. Uh, can you share your screen once? Okay, sir. I have to stop my presentation. Present, stop presenting. Yes, I stop. Uh, is it uh, visible? Yeah, coming, coming. Oh, what? So, so when I'm so when I'm creating new uh, text document, uh, a new created. What happened? What is the error? I'm saying yes. Uh, when I'm uh, doing a dot v file, it's uh, saying something so like, for example, if I'm doing dot h v. No, no, you it do. It might become unstable. Uh, no, Baba, you give some other file name. F a dot v. You give f a dot v. Okay, yes, sir. F A dot V. Ah, press enter. If you change the file extension name, the file will become unstable. Are you sure? No, no, no. You press enter na. Yes, sir. I did. I did. And then this is what I'm getting. But uh, mean nothing is seen. Any message is popped up there? No, sir. I am not seeing any message. What you. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, just a minute, sir. Just. Yes, sir. Now, is it visible? Uh, yes, you click on yes. It is simply saying that uh, this is some uh, unknown to me. Are you okay with that? Okay, sir. Okay, so, sir. we know what we are doing. So, that's why press yes. Okay, sir. Okay, you stop sharing. Okay, I am going to present mode now. Again, go to the entire screen, select this, share. Okay, so are you able to see my screen now? Yes, sir. So after this, again, I am giving hash one and then dollar stop. Dollar stop is a system task which stops the simulation. So then end module, end module. So I typed everything in front of you. It is seen by everyone. If I'm going for ask me, I will slow down. I'm saving this file. 
and I am saving this file also. Everybody, uh, no one responding. Uh, respond, are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is that done? Entire typing is done. Yes, sir. Uh, finish to half order. Half order. Uh, see, half uh, see. Order. see, 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 see the screen. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Once that is done, now what you do is just see my my screen. You see, right click here, open in terminal. Open in terminal. You did that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you have done that, everyone, you type first, first V lib, V lib space work. Press enter. So you must be seeing here, see my screen. In the for in the folder that HA work folder is created. Whether created? Yes, sir. Okay. Others? Yes, sir. Okay. Now we that is for creating the working uh, uh, library. This uh, this tool re requires that that model sim requires a one work folder. So that we have created with the command vlib work. Now we log we log this ha dot v space tb dot v so this is the command to compile those files to so press enter so if no errors it should give you error zero warning zero is that is that how for everyone it showed one error sir one error then uh, uh, just a minute. I am. I have to stop my. Stop and you share your screen. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to present your screen. Okay, coming. Okay, so. Uh, we long failed to open. Uh, it is saying that it, it has failed to open in the read mode. No such file or directory. Okay. You close this. Go to the folder where the folder is. Uh, this is the folder. You create a one file here. Uh, new document. Right click new document. New, new, new text document. Text document. Uh, that's the problem. So you, you are not seeing the extension. Na? You did not follow my instructions. Go to view. Just beside view, there are horizontal three dots. Just above ha.v file. Just above ha.v file. View is there. Na? Uh, go to view. Yes, sir. Go to view. Yes, sir. Uh, here, uncheck hide extension files. Uh, known file, uh, uncheck. Click OK. Uh, now you remove that h h a h a dot v dot text. You close the file first. Close the, close these files first. Uh, now right click, rename. Remove that dot txt. Uh, yes yes. Now same tb dot v. Right click, rename, remove the dot txt. Yes. Uh, now go to the terminal. Uh, just copy again and paste it here. Uh, what is that? Some syntax. Uh, hold on, hold on here. Uh, maximize you. Maximize this. So uh, this is for everyone. Hello, everyone. Respond. Yes, sir. See her screen. It is saying compiling module HA. Under that, it is saying HA dot V5. 5 means line number 5. There some syntax error. Hold on, hold on. Don't go. First, understand our, our task is 
to analyze, explore. That is our task. Don't jump to, to uh, here and there. First, listen. So there, uh, it is saying H8 ought to be within the parenthesis 5, meaning at line number 5, some mistake is there. Not necessarily it should be at five, line number 5. Above and below also we have to see. Next error, if you see, it is saying H A dot V within that uh, one is it is showing like that T B dot V line, line number eight T B dot V line number sixteen. Can you hover your mouse cursor there so that others can see? I am reading out now. You can put your mouse cursor there. T B dot V sixteen T B dot V eight error warning there on the screen ray. On the screen, TB.16, where? Ah, there. Others are seeing, na? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So, those are the errors it is giving us hint. So, let us go to now HA file. Go to the HA file. Open HA.V file. No, no, you cannot open like that. Right click and open in a, no uh, edit, edit with, uh, edit in notepad. Down, down, edit with notepad. Uh -huh. uh, wait, wait, wait here. Maximize this. Maximize this. Uh, wait here. Module H A A B. Uh, what is that? Uh, C O. That is that is the mistake. Uh, let let others uh, identify. Let others see. Don't uh, in hurry, hurry. Don't do the things. Go to view. Go to view. File edit view. Zoom in. Zoom in for us. Zoom in for us further. Further zoom in for us. Others are seeing that? Yes, sir. So her mistake is again at uh, line number uh, that AND gate. She missed out B. Putting the B, she missed out. Uh, uh, let, uh, let, uh, let us explore further. Uh, some A comma B, that is fine. Uh, control S if you do, you can save that file. After doing the control, yes, close this entire thing. Close this entire thing. You just follow my instructions. Close this text file. Are you there, Maitri? I am still seeing the file open. If you have closed, I don't know. Others are seeing the file. Yes, sir. But uh, why she is not closing that file? Yeah, what happened? We are still seeing your screen, that file there. Sir, it is showing me your network. Ah, but uh, your network yes, issue it is. Uh, you lost the connection. No, yes, again, sir. you got connected. You go to the file, then again you 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 may go to the folder. Oh, hey, this time tb dot v you open that tb dot v file. Are yar right click and edit in note. Maximize this for us. And uh, see, this is uh, why did you give that uh, space between a backcode and time scale? Uh -huh. That is one mistake. The second is um, initial begin dollar monitor. That is fine. At time, that is fine. Uh, this is also fine. Mm, maybe dollar stop and module. Oh, but the, for readability, it is like the way I instructed, if you would have followed like hash one, then giving the inputs, then hash one, giving the inputs, uh, the space like uh, at A0, B1, after that hash one you gave, na? A0, B1, semicolon, there enter, press enter. Uh, like that here also, like that here also. For readability, one can easily understand, okay, okay, they have given the delays there like that. So, uh, uh, dollar stop, dollar stop, semicolon, you give uh, there. Still, is there, I doubt now. Uh, 
is there a semicolon or not me confusion now. so okay that is uh, save the file <coughs> save yes, the sir. file save that file yes sir okay now you run again in your terminal uh, again the same thing no no up arrow you use up arrow you don't need to copy and paste if you use the up arrow it should come okay. run this time so here it is the line number 19 okay <coughs> this is in which file it is tb tb, TB warning there is warning and un... wait wait what is that what is that warning <laughs> unterminated string literal continues on to the next line uh, another is 19 uh, started on line 8 there is something uh, which is uh, coming there okay let's go to your the tb.v file again backward time scale module ranges and colon there's some uh, Initial begin dollar monitor. Oh, dollar. Uh, this end is required, na? After dollar stop, uh, semicolon. Enter. Press enter. Press enter. End module. You did not give, put the end. That initial begin. What you have started. We have to put uh, that uh, end module also. Save the file. We will very quickly come to the terminal. Come to the terminal up arrow. If you put a up arrow, then it should come there. <laughs> no, no, there that command is is that not coming if you use up arrow or down arrow? Sir, I already uh, um did sir. But for us views others are seeing our uh, progress. No, sir. We are not seeing any progress there. You copy and paste, run again. When is it visible? Uh, CLC, you use the CLC. CLS, clear screen, CLS. Uh, now, uh, uh, do it. Uh, wait, it is line number eight. Unterminated string literal continues on to next line. So again, open that one TB. Here in uh, one, two, some delay is happening, internet delay. So even now. Uh... When I am uh, running the code, I'm getting an error like uh, the term log is not recognized by the... Ha uh ha, -huh. wait, uh, we are coming. Let us resolve uh, one one after another. Okay, sir. What happened, uh, Maitri? We are not seeing anything. Blur is seen. You have to maximize this one. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Anyone understanding what she is speaking? I'm not understanding. So seems to have internet. Can you be uh, others? Can you be a bit louder? Why you are so like? Others, others, uh, are you people understanding yes. what she is saying? No, sir. No, sir. Network issue is there. Uh, so uh, you do one thing. Uh, uh, this this gentleman, uh, Srinivas, you present. Yes, sir. Uh, Vlog is not recognized. No, no, you first have to type Vlib. Vlib space work.
you you have installed that software na yes sir the, the mod, mod sim right model sim yes sir i have and uh, now you close this power shell close the power shell go to the folder yes sir uh, in the, in address bar go to the address bar <laughs> there yes, you sir. type cmd in address bar type cmd enter uh here we lib space work enter uh, okay uh, <coughs> c no 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 you have to run this uh, cmd as administrator you close this uh, cmd uh, okay uh, no 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 uh, in the search cmd types uh, cmd in the search in the bottom search why are you going to the address okay 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 <laughs> right, right click and uh, run as administrator uh, right, uh, okay that is also fine uh, type here where 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 space space we lib enter uh, uh, okay. you copy that c2 uh, win32 aloem c colon to that till that otherwise complete thing you copy Yes, uh -huh. Now search in the search. In the search, Are bhaiya, search bhaiya, search. I am I okay. did, did I tell to go to the address bar or search edit okay, edit edit type edit are yes, I am See, you people are not listening to my instruction. You are doing your own things. I am asking you to type there, edit. You are pasting it there. Did I ask you to paste there? No, sir. Yes, sir. Edit environment variable. You go there. This Open. one. Uh, go to environment variable down here. Down, down. Uh, uh, click on the path. Uh, system variables. In the system variable. In the system variables. Path. There is a path. path. Uh, yes, sir. Where edit. Click on edit. Uh, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Don't do anything. Uh, new. <laughs> go to new. Uh, now control V. Now remove that we lib till we lib. I have to remove we lib. Just till we lib, you remove. Um, uh, uh, and click uh, somewhere on the white space. Uh, click OK. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK here also. OK. Left. Uh, now uh, open the CMD, normal CMD. Now, close that normal CMD. <laughs> open. Uh, here uh, V log, just type V log. Enter. Okay, fine, it is working. Now you close this. Uh, go to the here. Uh, open the PowerShell. PowerShell. Right click. Open in terminal. Open in terminal. Uh, here you type v, v lib space work. Enter. Uh, v log space ha dot v. 
स्पेस टी बी डॉट वी एंटर ओके दैट ग्रेट सो एवरीबॉडी फॉलो टिल हियर यस सर मैत्री आर यू हियर यस सर whether you cleared this uh, that error or not uh, it's showing two errors sir uh, and one warning it means uh, to my question no i did not clear na yes uh, then uh, see you all people what you are doing is you are doing your own activities uh, your own uh, things i will come to you later on just watch here let me complete this today's task for others uh, you stay in the meeting i will resolve your problem others also can stay in the meeting to see how i am resolving her issue so now uh, others what about others uh, this uh, misba and uh, rafi are you people here yes sir ha uh, now now type along with uh, srinivas v sim uh, space hyphen c hyphen array hyphen hyphen the hyphen dash uh, c space tb press enter press you okay happening wait uh, run run space Hundred NS. Enter. So this is your uh, A zero B zero, your sum zero C zero, your A zero B one, your sum one C zero, A one B zero, sum one C zero. That is C O is zero, A one B one, your sum is zero, C O is one. You you are getting your output, okay? Yes, sir. so it means what you have verified your inputs are perfectly working you are correct so that is what for today this design example what i gave that is enough same design once or twice you just practice in creating different folder typing the code for ha typing the code for a tb and running all these uh, steps you once practice this that much is enough for you now you stop sharing uh, this uh, exit you have to type exit to come out of that you have the you have to type the exit command okay yes sir uh -huh. no, no. now uh, maitri you share your screen so you who shared your screen i uh, go to that for those uh, those uh, you know that folder those files open this to <coughs> oh edit <coughs> uh wait uh, tb.v go to the tb.v uh, for time scale one in the ps module tb rh gamma b while some gamma c o h b gamma sum gamma c o initial begin uh, monitor are bhai <coughs> double quote na here in the dollar monitor that after c o after c o equal to percentage b after c o where the percentage b is there after c o अरे भाई परसेंटेज बी हाँ देर डबल कोट देर डबल कोट यू रिमूव यू आर मेकिंग मिस्टेक्स सेव दिस फाइल रन नाउ ओके नाउ व्हाट यू हैव टू डू इज वी सिम space hyphen c space tb t tb t t t for test b for bench press enter ah 
ओके रन रन आर यू लिजनिंग रन फेस हंड्रेड एन एस प्रेस एंटर ओके दो हजार रिजल्ट यू कैन वेरीफाई दैट्स हाउ यू डू वन आर ट्वाइस यू प्रैक्टिस द सेम कोड एंड टाइप एग्जिट हि वन मोर टाइम एग्जिट so that's how you come out of uh, so that's all for today so i will share this video <laughs> you you practice you can practice a few you know, one or two examples i will write down the code and that also will share uh, to nine then you practice the way i i just demonstrated so get perfection in that flow that's what that uh, this uh, Uh, two weeks task coming up uh, anywhere two weeks over of this month uh, only the uh, hardly three weeks left in that we will we we will have to do a lot many such uh, complex designs to this that is a smaller design we have to pick up some uh, 